Starks Live. How are we doing today? Good? Very good. Good. Yes. Yes. yes, absolutely. I guess you're aware it's apparently National Selfie Day. Yeah, I yes. haven't looked at Facebook too I much. knew that from, from watching Daybreak here this morning on Color 10. All, everybody on the Daybreak team were doing selfies all through Daybreak this morning. So I was like, it's National Selfie Day. How'd I miss this? Who proclaimed this? This is what I want to know. It's probably on that calendar of National Yeah, but days. when did it come on the calendar? Does that have anything to do with the first day of summer, do you suppose? I mean, I, I don't know I why. Don't, I don't know. Would. I don't either. So anyway, this morning yeah. we figure, you know, we're going to take selfies all day. It's going to be great fun. And we took one. one. We're too busy we to take selfies. One. Yeah. And do we have it where we can show you we had a fun morning? Oh, my goodness. We Look sure at that. Did. Tom even yeah, made it he before did. he went off to the golf course. He yeah, he did. Um, so if you'll notice, we all happen to have a drink in our hand, right? Yeah. Yes. Guess where we were. My favorite, one of my favorite restaurants. One of our favorite places. Ah. We were over at Avanzari, and the reason we were there early on was because Tony happens to have something new. It is an espresso cappuccino. Yes. Menu full of drinks now. Yes. He kickstarted our day. It was lovely. He sure did. He's got all these coffee drinks now and a nice um, uh, espresso martini, yes. which oh, Jeremy God. and I enjoyed. Yeah, we enjoyed the martini a little early on in the uh -huh. morning. Yeah, 10 a.m. Like However, it. I will, I will like, I like the martini, but my, I gotta say, my new favorite is he made a special one for me and Kelly yeah. that was a chocolate and vanilla, vanilla. mix. Mixed. Yeah, mm. it, was, it, was it was so delicious. good. Yes, it had great amount of coffee flavor, but not too sweet. But oh. It was delicious. So delicious. We it was that. good stuff. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. so happy selfie day. Happy, happy selfie day. Selfie Kick day. It I off think we should take some throughout the show. We okay. should. We'll do that. Okay. Yeah. All, right. All right. It is Entertainment Thursday here on Ozarks Live. Jeremy's got a brand new Build It Better mm -hmm. project. It's amazing. I yeah. love this yeah, one. I absolutely I like love it. this one. And Janet is back from Krispy Kreme, of course. But before we get to it, we're going to show you what is on the radar today. All right. I want to start with something that we did last weekend and give a shout out to an area animal rescue agency mm -hmm. called HFLCS or Homes for Life Cat Shelter. Right. Mm -hmm. We did this service project for our corporate company, Nexstar, which owns mm -hmm. Color 10. Okay, uh, last Saturday, several of us from Color 10 spent a couple hours at PetSmart with Jerry and the very caring volunteers helping show people animals, getting their paperwork filled out. That's Jennifer Abreu over on the right, mm -hmm. helping, you know, we people would come in wanting a pet, looking at dogs, maybe not even wanting a pet. Mm -hmm. And then right. they'd see them <laughs> and kind of start looking at them. Do you recognize these yes, two? Yes, I love those these guys. These are two of Frito's little chili pies. We <laughs> call them Cheeto and Dorito. But Jerry suggested we call them Tom and Joy. Oh. And I said, whatever is working for you will work for us. Several people showed interest in it adopting these two. Jerry and her team are going to make sure they're neutered and spayed. She said she would let us know when they find a good home. Yeah, we want to hear the story. Yeah. That, so they sure. are in Buffalo somewhere at a foster place. They're getting all fixed up and ready to go. You can learn more at HFLCS Facebook page. Again, they're licensed and located in Buffalo, Missouri, but you can find them at PetSmart pretty much every Saturday down on South Glenstone. So yeah. oh. good work on their part. They're there pretty much all day with dogs, cats, and all of it. So anyway, yeah. I had a good day. That is wonderful. Yeah, they're going to get good with that. Joy, yeah. you have to let us know as soon as they tell you they're adopted. Because yes. I want to make sure, I just, I'll rest easier knowing know. they have yes. a good home. I'll tell you what, there was one couple that really showed an interest in them. And I would mm -hmm. love it. anyone who would give yeah. them a good home. Right. But the couple was looking at maybe taking them together. That I would be amazing. Oh, I know. Oh, I would love I know. that. saying a prayer. Keep the siblings yes. together. Yes. I know. It would be very They nice. need each other. They do. They do. They do. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Okay. Anyway, good work on their part. Good job. All right. As we said earlier, today marks the official beginning of summer. We're ready. June 21st every year is the start of the summer solace, an astronomical phenomenon bringing the longest day of the year and the shortest night to the northern hemisphere. Here we are. Yep. All right. So it does feel like a long day already, doesn't it? Okay. There are things we think of during this time, though, that are plentiful, fresh, and perfect, like strawberries, roses, and the majestic sunflower that Jeremy forgot to plant this year. I'm planting them this weekend, Kelly. Good. Are okay. you? Yes. All right. Well, okay. those are beautiful. And we want them in your garden because yes. they mimic the cosmic sun and they follow the light. Yes, they're they very do. Pretty. Yeah. Yeah. They're gorgeous. <clears throat> Also in full bloom are the sweet, delicate honeysuckle blooms that I have a ton of in my backyard. Me too. Yes, and they're a symbol of simplicity and happy times. Daisies are also one of your favorites, Jeremy. In my and, garden this year, too. And you have those. And yes. those are a sign of summer sol solace. Solstice. Solstice. And light Mouthful. and 
Yes. It is a mouthful. <laughs> it really is. Yes, it is. <laughs> They're fresh and they display a sense of innocence. Would you agree with that? I would agree. I think so, I think too. they do. Now, the linden flower you may not have heard of, but this is in bloom during this time with a sweet fragrance that could be considered a gentle friend with its soothing and calming properties that you might enjoy in a cup of tea. Oh, that's yeah. fun. Yeah, you find those in a lot of parks and that sort of thing. All right, so the long and short of it is that it is that time of year to enjoy the beauty of nature and the outdoors and to appreciate time with friends and family. What Whatever you're doing, whether you're grilling or you're swimming or hiking or just kicking back with a glass of lemonade or wine or whatever it is you want to drink. Or Joy's lavender lemonade. Oh. Yes, that was do delicious. Do we still have some of that in no. our fridge? Actually, it's... we do have your your simple syrup and we have the the lemonade as well. So yes, we. Have How it. did I? I would have had that. I forgot by now. that I left it. I put it in the yeah. fridge in our office, and I I got home last night. And I thought that sounds really good. It's and I thought, here. Oh, it's at the office. We had that it. Is okay. So good. Yeah, it's delicious. Should have that earlier. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm switching from your calming soothing, relaxing summer uh -oh. solstice to? to Entertainment Thursday. Okay, cool. Some news from MTV. No, mm. they're not going to be playing music videos. Darn no, it. I mean, that's no. what they should do. That's what they should do. Hello. Hello. But anyway, guess what? The real world is coming back. If you grew up in the 90s and the early 2000s, you have to remember the wor the real world. I actually auditioned for that when I was 19. You did? You did? Long story. Okay. Uh, Daria <laughs> as well is coming the back. New, yes. The newly launched MTV Studios will do a social me media era reboot of the real world as well as the animated Daria. Remember that show? I never really watched Daria. I didn't, I didn't either. Time. These shows will be reimagined by some talented producers who will try and capture the hard to snag millennial audience. Yes. And according to Variety, MTV viewers will also see full episodes of Eon Flux and Made as well. <laughs> I they don't. should get back to their roots, though. Yeah. I'm sorry. They should. No, MTV, I agree with you. Viacom, anybody listening, hello, just play music videos. I think MTV3 yes. plays music videos. They do. They, there's like yeah. a classic channel. And you know, last night, interestingly, and I, don't, I just don't have time to watch a lot of TV, but I was doing a little uh, stuff on my laptop. And I ran across like an 80s MTV channel. I bet I let that play in the background for an hour and a half. Yeah, why wouldn't you? Fun to watch. Sing every bit of it. Absolutely. Loved it. Yeah. And by the way, I'll, I'll just give you a little hint of my real world audi audition video. Oh, yeah. okay. Now, mind you, it was back when it was VHS tapes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was just a freshman in college, thought I'm going to be in the real world. Just imagine me imitating Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible, falling from a ceiling telling them why I should be in the real world. They never called me. Okay, let me see if never I can get Never called. I'll do anything if you'll find that, that tape. I know one of your old I teachers. I'm gonna you see do. if he has that. I don't think you'd have that. If you're listening, uh, we would like to have that role. Yes, we would like to have that. It would be, like really, would be a would. flashback, yeah. My aunt, my Aunt Beth and Betty taped it for me. <gasps> They're like, you've got to be in the real world. <laughs> we know where to get it now. <laughs> oh, dang it, I just revealed that. Yes, you did. Well, they're remaking it, Jeremy. It's not too late, I mean. I think I'm way too old for their demographic now. Well, the good I think you have to be like 27 max to be on that show. You're 27. Well, yeah. And I'm 26 and a half. Yes, so anyway. I know. It's a little uh, Anyway, <laughs> coming up, guess what? It's a patriotic project in this week's Build It Better. Don't go anywhere. Ozarks Live is just getting started. Come on, ladies. Selfie. Ooh. <laughs>